Mm-hmm. You know, I was in church one day, and the, the lady, mm-hmm. Auntie, please, good morning. I was like, I, I think Ghana is sin. Like, why was all your food be fermented? <laughs> Succinctly discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Francis. When you said punch, I'm like, what newspaper? It, it said, is punch. It is punch newspaper. But we said, no, it is punch. I said, okay. Hello, friends. This is Jules of the Jules TV. Thank you for stopping by, and you're welcome. So in today's episode, we have a special guest. Okay, yeah, I know we always say everyone is special, but I have an actual special guest. So we went to university together. Okay, no, that's too broad. We were in the same department, okay? We were classmates. We uh, oftentimes were in the same groups and all of that, group work and all of that. And we took some elective courses together as well. So we've known each other for quite some time. Yeah, well, we have our Nigerian guest today. And yeah, she's going to come up here to tell us a thing or two. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> All right, guys. You're welcome back. Mm-hmm. And with me today is... Introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So my name is Janet Ogundepo. Okay. Where, where are you from? Yeah, I'm a Nigerian. I'm from Oyo State. No, I, I thought you were from Cameroon. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm from the United States okay. of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> USN. <laughs> USN, nice. So yeah, Yoruba, right? Yes. Okay, no, I just need my oh, yes. so that they know. Okay. I am Yoruba. All right, you're yes. welcome. Thank you. So how long have you been in Ghana for? Oh yes. Sixty, how many days now? <laughs> It's been nice. Yes. It's been nice in days in as well. Days, okay. How many days? Hmm. How many days left? So it should be sixty-five days. Yes. So we're talking two months plus. Yes, two months plus. I've yeah. spent eighty days here. You have to spend eighty days. So that's three months. No, it's, no, it's not. Three not months. Three, like two months. Two months Twenty plus. days. Yes. So how has Ghana been so far? Yeah. <laughs> Me, I want to hear it. You want to hear it? I've been here for so long. I probably <laughs> haven't asked some questions. And I'm like, this interview will happen one day. One day! So I'm, I want to hear it fresh, fresh. I don't want to come here and do, oh, ah, whereas I've heard, Mm-mm. I want to be as surprised as <laughs> So, how has it been? So okay, far? well, yes, yeah, starting from what is common to Ghana, Aquaba. So, mm. yes, yeah, so. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so Ghana has been welcoming. I don't really want to compare because I know every every country has its own peculiarities. Yeah. But I, I think Ghana is saying when I say that word, people are like, okay, so why are you saying? Saying in the sense like, okay, I stay in Lagos and you know the craziness of Lagos, <laughs> the madness, the rush, all of that. Mm-hmm. Though I later moved to Ogun State, but I still come to Lagos, so it's so you know. Ogun State is just oh yeah, that's true. Very so. is very. Short. How would I put it? Just, just, just put your leg like this. Yeah, no, we'll say, so Ogo is really close yes, to Lagos. In to fact, Lagos. there are some parts of Lagos that people regard oh, yes, as Ogo as state. As state yes. So yeah, they are really close. Okay, so yes, it's, it's been saying. Yeah. Well, there's light. <laughs> well, okay. Apart from the few maybe occasional times the, the there was power outage, but over. I think I can count on my fingers if I want to be serious. The mm. number of times I had okay, I only when I have returned from the office, like my training center. We'll get to that shortly, but oh, yeah. then her finishes. Just to... maybe once or twice I came and didn't see lights. There was as in there's always been lights. The other any time the light goes off, or for the other times that light has gone off, the credits got exhausted. So the only time that I know of that there was really no light was twice. So yes, sanity. And yes, I added it. <laughs> Actually, she's not the first person saying that Ghanaian food is yeah, fattening. Or are fattening. Yeah. yeah she's not the first person actually. Yeah. So that There's is chicken. Inside yeah, of I don't it know. That makes you just I, I think you know there are lots of from my own observation, I've yeah. noticed that most of the food even the stews or this thing they are made with um, granite uh, sorry vegetable oil oil yeah yes yeah. so you know vegetable oil also has a way of adding mm. meat then we to the training they'll give us you know they go to restaurant grilled chicken all of that so i was i i, I was <laughs> my chicken <laughs> what do you 
you're a big girl. Because I was looking at her today. I like, <laughs> I see her every week. So oh I'm like, <laughs> but they say we shouldn't fat shame anybody or whatever. But it's not fat shame. It's not fat shame. Is it no. just my eyes or no. you? Because I see her every week, it's at like, least once or twice every yeah. week. And I'm like, this is not the person I saw last week. I'm not even joking, you guys. This is not the person. But yeah, coming to the main reason you came, because I'm proud of her. So that's why I want you to hear. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. So, why did you come to Ghana? Because you, you've spent a long time here. Oh, yeah, it, I'm it, sure it, some it. of you are curious as to why she has been here for so okay. long. And she's not... No, are you coming here to leave? <laughs> well, well if, if the opportunity... I think with, with the few experiences that I'm having, I'm like, God, what are you saying? She has to come back here. I feel like not telling you something. What are you saying? Yeah, like, I you. So, why exactly did you come to Ghana? Okay, yes. Yeah. So I am a journalist with Punch newspapers. My colleague in that is in Ghana and said it's not Punch. I call it Punch. It, when you said Punch, I'm like, what newspaper? It, it said, is Punch. It newspaper. is Punch newspaper. But we said no, it is Punch. I said okay. <laughs> while I'm here, I'll pronounce it as Punch. But I cannot go back to my office and be saying I want to be Punch. That's why I kept saying, like, no. when, when did we have punch? punch, 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 punch. <laughs> so, Ghanaian audience punch, so that I can be able yeah, to see. But yeah, it's what we all know as punch. Punch has been punch. Yeah, yeah, so I'm a journalist. And, yeah. um, sometime in October, yes, I, I um, was nominated for a climate change journalism fellowship. So that's why I'm here. So I'm here for a climate change journalism fellowship, so more like a media fellowship. Um, it's for six months. Uh, we had the virtual path mm -hmm. since, I think, yeah, November thereabouts last year. Mm -hmm. Then the residential part is to stay in, come to Ghana. And it's organized by Media Foundation for West Africa. So it's an NGO about um, press freedom, good governance. So we are the first cohort for climate change journalism so it's, and we are we had to spend um, 80 days in Ghana for the residential parts of the program so the, the the idea behind the residential part is that we come we have okay so I think I jumped okay so we are a group of 10 West African countries so I am the only Nigerian here I am <laughs> so we have 10 other West African countries being represented so we have okay of course the Ghanaian so that's two so the eight of us we have Togo we have Benin we have Senegal we have Guinea we have um, Nana is from where we have Mali we have Burkina Faso we have Cote d'Ivoire and we have Niger yes so Niger it's only one Ghanaian as well so one Ghanaian one so one so representative from, from each country, country. Okay, okay. yes each. now back to Ghana mm -hmm. On a scale of one to ten, one being the lowest, how how will you rate Ghana? How will I rate Ghana? Hmm. Okay, first I'll say Ghana is succinctly discussed. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Francis, <laughs> succinctly discussed. Okay now. Oh my God. Okay, All right, yeah. well, So Ghana is Ghana is is good. I I don't you want to. Be, answer, it's no. not. Yes, I've <laughs> answered. I don't want to say it's perfect because I know it's my entire, for me like as a friend I see you know there's there's yeah, organization yeah. so but later on in my in my interactions with the Ghanaians I mm -hmm. found out that okay maybe and the other journalists so mm -hmm. of course they would know what I've been so I found out that okay maybe that's it so that's I I won't say perfect mm -hmm. so but on a scale of one to ten mm -hmm. looking at organization mm -hmm. because when you're a journalist you have to what is the criteria for. <laughs> Well, give me this mark. Yeah. So yeah, you know we deal with data at times and all that. So looking at organization, yeah. looking at the level of cleanliness, looking at I'm a climate change journalist, of course. Looking at the air quality, looking at um, you know pavements, um, road sectioning. Now there's what they call bicycle lanes, walkways, and all that. Looking at um, even the 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 training I came for, like the climate change. 
in West Africa, they had, you know, with our discussions, we went to some of the commissions, Forestry Commission, Water Research Institute, went to Noguchi, we went to Arocha, we went to, we went to quite a lot of places, I've forgotten some, nobody was here, I forgot that. <laughs> so, but also include the people so. as well, and the food, everything, you should include when you are given the Okay, school. okay, yes, mm. so, so the people, yes, though most times I prefer, I deal with people based on, you're a human being first, not your nationality, not your tribe, and all that. So, but looking at it generally, mm -hmm. then with the food. Hmm. Well, say, we go, that food is a whole topic on its own. It's a different first. one. So, let me what talk about the score? different. So, <laughs> how would so, you so, 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 so yeah, yeah. I, I would say 8.5 over 10. This is the highest so far, actually. Really? The highest, yeah, people usually say seven. Seven? Yeah. Wow. I wanted to say nine, but I'm like, ah, because ah, I've seen that it's all perfect. Yeah, I've seen that yeah. there were <laughs> lots of, you know, maybe some discrepancies. Yeah. Then I found out that there were some things they were just doing paparazzi for us. When I got to know the truth, I'm like, hello. Like what? Like what? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh. I want to hear. They, though, if don't, you are not allowed to come for it. Okay? <laughs> you are not allowed. Tell me okay, well, okay, it's, you know, the climate change, this thing. So we went to Forestry Commission and they, actually it's true that the United Nations paid Ghana for about 9 point something billion for, is it dollars now or cities? I think it's dollars for um, carbon markets. So in layman mm -hmm. terms, it's just that for their efforts in trying to trap the carbon mm -hmm. the, to make the air cleaner and all okay, of that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, and you know, that was one of the things I used to invade in okay. Ghana. So, yeah. yes. So then we now later, when we went to another institute, they are an NGO, mm -hmm. so they are now a government, so they will not do PR to us. So <clears throat> they they explained that it is true that they've paid them for 2019, but the money they paid them that was 2019. But if they would pay them for the next one, the trees have been cut off by Galamse. So I'm hearing something of Galamse sites, Galamse. So I think it's Galamse. a mining. Yes, is that the pronunciation? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just smiling. Okay. Continue, continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are smiling. Galamse, Galamse. So I don't. So it's a mining site. So they said some of the trees there have been cut off. So, but they were still saying they are still the trees still there. So more like. Well, if you're an investigative journalist, that's an opening for you to go investigate why they tell you that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then. so aside those, you know, um, glitches here and there, issues here and there, yeah. 8.5. That mm. is really good, actually. Yes, yeah, so Ghana should give me free citizenship. <laughs> easy like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But seriously, Sorry. coming to the food, how has it been? Okay, the food. First, I like watching. That's let me say the bestest quote and yeah. quote of the foods I've ever eaten. Mm. Um, I don't know. I I think I could just relate. I don't know. I don't know why I like it. <laughs> Maybe it's familiar. Okay, yes, it's familiar. Of course, rice and beans. Yes, yes you cook I think it. So. Yes, and then there's a twist to it, so you're like, okay. yes, since it. Yeah. And then I, then I've seen it in. I don't think I've ever eaten it in Nigeria. I've well, they seen said it. It's there, but yes. I've not eaten. But I heard. It's I've not eaten Nigeria. it, but I've seen it. Oh. I even know the people that. But I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think they, they something happened to the, the area where they. I think they demolished or they okay. sold it, so they had to leave. Okay. I don't where they are now okay. so but yeah so it's i've seen it very well so i think this coming here was the first time i ate it and i think i ate it the second day i came yes so yes so i i think i like watching oh yeah all that food that kele willy kele willy the plantain yes yeah, the plantain mm. i've eaten it once so and i'm still looking for uh, the thing is i'm not saying kele, it's funny how kele willy seems to be very popular but you don't find it everywhere i mean i've not seen it's it. really they, I know there's one spot in Osu, I even made a video there yeah. some time ago. It's not something you can just go to one street and you find, like watching. Kele Wele, you won't find it. I didn't find it's it. It's popular, but you just will not find it everywhere. And and I really liked it. Someone, they even bought it. And I think they sell out very fast. So oh, before yeah. you know it, they oh, finish so. selling. So it's sold out. I, so, yeah. I think so. I, 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 I'm still open, maybe, I, I don't know the area. We were in the bus one day, so mm. I, they just stopped them. So I don't you know. Like the, Oh yes, of course it's plantain, it's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But so the one day after church, I took her to buy. There's this kinky spot around my church area, oh my so I took her and I bought as a nice host now. 
Well, she's not staying with me. They they house them somewhere. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. I still am her host, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> so I went to and I bought her some nice king king with some nice fish and pepper. I said, you know, just try it. Oh, I bought the Ghana king king because I feel like if you are tasting king king for the first time, I feel it's better to taste Ghana first. I don't know. That's my opinion. No. I, so I gave it to her, she took it home and she ate. <laughs> I did not really get a feedback, so I'm like, <laughs> you have to catch me today. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So some I think we had some family meeting, family gathering and all of that. So we we're just talking about food. <laughs> and she said it in passing. I heard by saying mm -mm, I'll catch you at this interview. I will catch you. <laughs> So I heard it in passing that she said, mm, I just managed to eat the cake cake. And I said, you this girl. You this girl. So tell me, how was your cake cake <laughs> Okay, yeah. <clears throat> it's been quite a while now. I've been messing for No, <laughs> even the cake cake at that I um, need to do how she did it because we had cake cake for a lot on last Sunday. She, she avoided it for some reason. <laughs> tell me why, 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 why is that why? true? Okay, yeah. I think maybe maybe I'm not no, giving an excuse. Though. Maybe if I I'm not used to taking swallow with maybe just pepper yeah. or something. Of course, you are used to soup, vegetables, okra, and all of that. So yeah. seeing it with pepper was a bit strange. Yeah. So I did it. I yes, I ate it with the yeah. fish. So yeah. the fish made it. You know. <laughs> yeah. How did you feel in your your really throat? Your throat? Hmm. Okay, the first okay it slapped me. That was like the mm -hmm. yes, 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 slappy kind of. Yeah. Then when I took it, okay, this is different. Yeah. <laughs> so what's happening? So yeah. You know it's in Nigeria, right? Donkunu. Kinky is in Nigeria. They sell it in Nigeria. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> it's called Donkunu. I'm serious. Yeah, it's Donkunu. People yeah. were asking me. They it's were telling Donkunu. me Donkunu. Allow to. They not said yes, the same. Same thing. thing. What? Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I've seen it in Nigeria. But I know of Kinky. I've heard of Kinky very well in Nigeria. I've heard of Dokono. Yeah. Okay, yeah, maybe through your videos to then all that. Some of my subscribers um, commented on that Kinky video that Kinky is an acquired taste. So if you don't, it's, it's I don't know how do I put it, it's a bit difficult to like it at the first instance. At the instance. first, yes, yes, yes. Kinky is not something, I've said it before, it's not something I love or I'm crazy yeah. about. I buy it for variety, I buy it, oh, I've not had it in a long time, but it's not something I'll just wake up and... You want to eat Kinky? Yeah, <laughs> Kinky is, is a tough man's food, though. <laughs> you said something about Banku, that you're not a fan of Banku. Oh, yes. Uh, to be fair, I love the okra. Okay. No, they said there's one that you just put okra on top. It's not that one. So it's proper okra yeah, soup. Proper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, proper Some okra soups, soup. Some soups you just put bits and pieces of okra. No, no, yeah, I didn't. Just I had it, but so I enjoyed the soup. Yeah. But when I took it, I was like, yes, I also had a slappy taste. Okay, I felt mm -hmm. okay. You know, like fermented fufu, yeah. like our own Nigerian fufu. Yeah. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's try it. Okay. So when, but it now had. It's not bitter sweet. Is it bitter sweet? Like. It's it's sour, yes, yeah, it's, it's slappy, fermented. yes. Yeah. So when I had bank, um, banku first, then I took, I'm like, why was all your food be fermented? <laughs> What's it Please answer me, I don't know. What? I, don't know. <laughs> I will not ask a question, okay. I don't know. Please, banku fermented. My, please, please, my subscribers are dear to my heart, so oh. I don't know you answer me. Oh. Please tell me. <laughs> Ask the question, please answer. Cause me dear, I will say what I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Which other food did you try? Um, Ghana jollof. What do you have oh, to say yeah. about it? Funny thing is, the first day I came, I accidentally I thought buying jollof in the restaurant would just be like the general jollof. Until maybe three days after, someone said that was Ghana jollof. I was like, tell me something. <laughs> well, it's tasted, of course, different, but. Yes, it's a bit darker than Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what makes it mm -hmm. so. Yeah, then okay, maybe because I was in the restaurant, so I felt so eating it. Yes, it was to an extent. I actually don't follow this Ghana um, Nigerian jollof words, but I actually, <laughs> I actually enjoyed it. I actually liked it. So, but maybe if I had known, I would have been more critical. I'd be like, what is even the other this was saying? Right. Yeah. So, but I took it in order. I had taken it in, um, in other, like other restaurants, like they gave to us, and there was one I didn't really like. So maybe that's where the person cooked it. I don't know. But to, to, to be fair, it's it's good. 
it's good. It's just that you know ours Nigerian own is someone was saying it was hard that Nigeria. I was like, no, I was here. So that's I really called no 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 Ghana Jello. I'm um, sorry, Nigerian Jello is hard. hard. And I said no. Mm. And I recalled that you know when you take the burnt part of party uh. rice, you know it's hard. But I told you that that's the sweetest. So maybe that's the part it took. Is a thing, oh, Kanzo, it's called Kanzo here in Ghana. It's a thing. Uh, they eat oh, it here. Look at you. They, you see a food seller she's the, with the rice, white rice mm. in the bowl and everything in the cooler. Mm. There's burnt parts section. Mm -hmm. So people actually buy and request for. As in, they buy it like they are buying rice. Yeah, but it's their own soft. Mm, it's still the same texture of mm. under pots now. It's under pot soft. <laughs> he was saying he kept arguing with me. He was soft. like, I said, and I had to be, and I said, oh, okay. You know, for food too, when you cook the, that burnt part that you take it, that is very yeah. dry. So I felt I maybe that was what he was saying. Maybe no, that was no, him, Sha. Let me not defend before they say I'm defending, but who if I don't defend us, who will I be like? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But but I mean, you need to take that burnt part or party jollof rice or the one they cook with firewood. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You can, I cannot compare that one with Ghana Jollof. No, please. <laughs> Thank you. So, is Ghana a place you come back to? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. I'm hoping. I don't know if it's possible this year again, but maybe next year or. Okay. Just, yeah, next year. At least now, come and see it again. Yeah. But, 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 yes. I, I, I think, yeah, it's a place. It's not, I think, to please. My answer is yes. <laughs> so, which three words have you learned? Oh, yes. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so, um, I don't know how to say good morning, but I want, to, I want to say how they usually greet. Me, Pacho, good morning. Me, Pacho, good morning. Me, Pacho. You got it. Please, good morning. Mm. You know, I was in church when I delayed mm. Auntie, please, good morning. I was like, what is it? It's a child that said it. I'm like, what is it, please? <laughs> Why? Is good? I lost my. Yeah. I'm like, I'm with him. Okay. Yeah. So, what is it, Pacho? Me, Pacho. Please. Okay. Yeah, so I've. I say. How? I say. Huh? Etty say. Sorry, Etty say. Sorry. Etty say is, how are you? Then I say, I say is how much? How much? Yes, <laughs> I had to be clarify you, you that because you tried, you tried, you tried. You try. I had to ask because I knew. Okay, I have a relative who mm. um, was born in Kumasi. So when we talk, she would have said, "Et is say, et is." I'm like, I'll just be laughing. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> "That moment when you don't know what to I'm say." Like, she was like. Laugh. She yeah. said Yoruba, she's an elderly, she's, a, she's someone I call mommy. Mm -hmm. So she was like, oh, it's it, boy, she, so what she's trying to say is that you've not learned the language, so go and learn it. I was just, and I had to go ask, please, what is it to say? And I said, it's, um, how, are how are you, like a greeting? So what we didn't respond? Because I was just laughing, yeah, she was like, what's wrong with you? Go and learn it. And I said, me, oh, yeah, me, oh, yeah. I think, me, me, oh, yeah. You even learned the harder one, no? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Simple, fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a common one. It's the person that thought me, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not gonna say what I don't know. I'm not yeah, sure, yeah. but I think I've heard it. But it's not something that I said often, so it has not really stuck in my brain like that. Yeah, it's my teacher. Yeah, <laughs> so, so I was now. So, so from yeah. there, I, then later, and I was not here in the market. I was here. A I was not like. What was this? And I had to. I think you don't ask. I mean, what okay, was I, I, I can't remember what I was asking. I was not like, what's the difference? And I said, okay, the other one is how much? The other, mm. the, this one is how are you? Yes. Okay. So what have I done? Made us say yes. That was one of the first words. Yes. Made us say. Ah, uh, what else? What's made us say? Thank you. Okay. Um, what have I done? Hey. <laughs> Do I been eating fufu before? No. Are you serious? No, the day I wanted See to try it, that you, you had, the day yeah. I wanted to try it in the office, yeah. the, the lady was not there. I'm like, uh, but of course I still have. But she has tried like so There's this lady in my chair. Oh yes, I still have so I think we. I so because I told her about it, the lady made a big oh, yes. for her. So yeah, yes, yes. So so it seems so far you've enjoyed Ghana, right? Oh yes, I have. I am. You can tell it from your cheeks. I know, <laughs> I know, right? So it's it's been sixty. Is it sixty-five or sixty-six days of rest? But it has not been restful like that. Please let's because go of your work. Because I still work yeah. for punch, and I'm still okay. Yeah. I was telling someone. It's more like I'm. 
running, doing two jobs, yeah. and I'm on a training. Mm. Overall, it's 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 been sweet. I don't want to do it also because we're not in church. <laughs> Sweet. So you visited the markets and stuff. Oh yes, went. I've been to Horty of Hair. I've been to the. the we've been to Makola. Yeah. We've been to. It's not Tema. Tema Station. Station. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We've been to. Well, on my own, I went to Madina. Mm. Then um, I didn't. What's that third one? Which market? That is around the Makola side. Um, Tantamanto. Yes. Sorry, it's, it's I don't know. Um, no, it's fine. Yeah. That's where they sell thrift. For those of you who don't yeah. know. Well, second hand. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Benda Select. Benda Select. Wow. Yes. So, yeah, those are the main markets. Okay, mm. aside of that place, okay, the training, the, yeah. they took us on a tour around to black square i don't black, know black star square. black star square i don't sorry you know it's fine it's fine black star square yeah we went to the museum okay another thing coming to ghana is you know i met someone he's not a ghanian okay he's a benone i bet the pronounce it's from benin republic mm. i thought he was a nigerian because he looks like my brother's friend so i was like oh i saw another one until later i said he's from gabon i'm like <laughs> you, well, that's one thing about West Africa. You see this person, you can relate a feature on the face or maybe nose or something to someone else. So, I mean, it's just. I don't want. Well, it's just the partitioning, yeah. the scramble of mm. the, what, the powers that be that want to start. Out. I mean, I just. One, nobody would know. Yeah. If I don't say, maybe when I went to the market, I had a lot of people who were speaking to it to mm. me. And I would not, if I know with your gestures, this is what you're saying. Mm. Okay, I'll just, you know, flow with it. Mm. So when I talk, that's when they were now say, I remember I was trying to buy it. I was like, okay, I want that. I thought it was green peas. It looks, it's round and green. I thought mm. it was green. It was in the night, so oh, I didn't really uh, see. That's techie berry. Uh, yeah, like yes. it's yeah. so it was nice so i i didn't really i sh i was like i thought it was green peas so at least okay. let me make some nigerian chocolate mm. so i she not said no 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 that is not i'm like no, not taking how do you know that no and she just started laughing i'm like oh so because i was talking at me. <laughs> wow. so it's 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 i just i think for us we are, you see some behaviors and i'll be like ah. <laughs> yeah. I know, Nigeria. Right. yeah so yeah. wow having you on the channel thank you thank you so much for coming yeah. and i'm glad you had a nice time well you've had a nice time yeah. before we wrap this up let's quickly hear some of the culture shock some things that shocked you when you came like this you're like eh where's this coming from oh. because speaking of you know um, how people relate with you as a nigerian mm. some people expect you to be a certain way to say certain things so how did you what are some of the shocks that you experienced Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm a person that when I see an elderly person, I genuflect. Mm -hmm. So when I came at first, I found out I was the only one doing it. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I was trying to. Too, yeah. I'm like, yeah. So, or maybe, you know, when. So at first, I was. Then in the office, when I would get to. So when. Okay, this is an elderly. Or my boss, I'm like, okay. Then I'll say, good morning, ma'am. He said, this is your mom. I'm, stop calling me with that. I'm like, okay, sorry. On another day, I saw her. I just said, Said, I told you to, I'm, like, I'm sorry I'm just used to it so I don't know if it's a general culture or maybe because she's a journalist or something I don't know I think it's just good morning yeah good so morning good morning madam I think for students they student. call their, their teachers and like madam oh. I think I think so for secondary school, school. And primary, I think they call them madam whereas in our own place if you call a woman madam it's a bit insulting kind of right you Am I right? yes yeah Ma it's, madam it's like a sarcastic way madam yes. like, why are you calling me madam Ma yes you madam. Get, except maybe the person is your boss yeah like mm -hmm. madam good afternoon madam or something but uh -huh, calling yes. a woman madam yes ah it's it's <laughs> yeah Especially when it's a guy that's saying it, it'll be like it's a bit, it's like a sarcastic way yes, of referring to me. What else? Well, I think I've found similarities, mm. maybe you know, okay. like which, the some of which are the smoke, 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 yeah, smoke, and the, the non woven okay, yes. kente. It's more like a actual fee. Yes, you know, it yes. feels just the design. Hey, yeah, the really, really, I'm not jealous. It's actual fee. Ashofi, Ashofi. <laughs> you normally know, I say Ashofi, okay, but yes. Ashofi is for Ashofi, the yes, inside people. Mm. She's part of the inside. People. Yes, now from Okiogun. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, and that's where they make Ashofi. 
Eh? Are you serious? Yes. Ah, okay. Nice. Make it. All right then. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Thank you. The long anticipated wait because she's going anytime from now. Oh yeah. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just. Yeah. So um, let me know what you think. Um, in the comment section, be kind with your words as always, and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment as always. Please. And yeah, please, <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. -bye.